Hello all, Shoestring here. Today we're going to talk about myths and facts when it comes to solar. A lot of people have a lot of misconceptions about solar and we're going to discuss some of them. Today that's pretty important because as the news has been reporting there's been several blackouts and there's prospects of more blackouts to come. And we don't want to wait until your lights go out before you start thinking about what you can do about it. Solar is a good choice, but there is, like I said, a lot of misconceptions about what's going on. And we're going to talk about some of them today. As you know, this channel has been recommending that you prep for the possibility of an electrical, but that the electrical grid is not available. It's either going to go down for a short time or a long time and that's why it's important to talk about solar what it will do and what it will not do okay so let's start with what will it do okay we would love and a lot of people would love to believe that solar is just going to solve all their electrical needs problems but that just isn't the way it is not realistically solar isn't going to solve your entire problem with electricity if the grid goes down. It will not be the way you're living now. You'll have to change your life a little. You can't buy a little bit of equipment and think that your life will be the same and everything will now lo live in the sunshine. We would like to think that that day isn't here yet. And it's not a good idea to start acting like that. So, let's talk about what solar will do. Then we'll talk about what it will not do. There are some things solar will do well, and you can do it for a little bit of money. Solar, for instance, will be able to keep a light on in a grid-down situation. It will help charge up electronic devices, such as your laptops, your cell phones. It will keep a fan on for your family. It will do small things. And you can do these small things without a lot of money. I have done several videos on how to do that. And if you feel like it, feel free to go look at my playlist and find something that you might find interesting. But solar is very, very good at doing small things. Like I said, when your power is down in your house, you can put a light, you can put a fan, charge your cell phones, do your laptops, all types of little things. If you have a battery backup, it's important to realize the difference between a battery backup and a house that's totally solar. And now we're going to talk about that. The little things I just discussed was a battery backup. Now we're going to talk about what solar won't do. Solar will not take care of your daily needs, especially if it can't recharge every day, such as it's storm, raining, or it's cloudy. We should cover something fairly quickly so everyone will understand this. If you get a house that's totally solar, it's connected to the grid. When the grid goes down, your power also goes out. A lot of solar companies don't tell you that, but that's the absolute truth. So, solar will not run in a grid down situation. Ovens, stoves, cooking ranges, central air conditioner, central heating, electric clothes dryers. It will not do the big 220 appliances if the grid is down. Make sure we understand what we're talking about here. If the grid is down and you are not connected to the power, to the electricity company, for you to still have power, you have to have a battery backup. The battery backup will not run major 220 appliances. And even your 110s, it won't run them all. So we need to keep that clearly in mind of what solar will and will not do. It is great with little things. It is not very good at all with big projects. So keep that in mind. Little things you can do easily. Solar is great for that. I love it but it will not do big things. So never buy into anything a solar salesman is trying to tell you, all right, that includes tying into the grid 
when we're talking about a grid down situation. In fact, if you've seen some of the news stories of what's been going on since that big hurricane, a lot of folks had solar houses and when the power went out, so went theirs. And they didn't understand why because their salesman was not honest with them. So, as always, do your research, okay? Don't rely on what any solar company is going to tell you. Research yourself. If you buy into a system that ties into the grid, when the power goes out of your house, your system will not work during a power, power outage. Your home will not be able to produce or consume solar power while the grid's down unless you have a battery backup. That's important, okay? Now, a lot of people wonder why. Why won't that happen? Well, when your house grid goes out, your house solar turns off, and that's because it turns off automatically, and that's to prevent electrical energy from flowing through the system while the repair people are out on the lines. So it's a safety function that's out there for the electricity company, our line, our line workers. We don't want them to get hurt. And they need to know that power is not going to come through the lines. So when, you're, when the electric grid goes out, your power goes out too. Okay? Now, when the power grid returns, your house solar will also come back on. But we're talking about a grid down. Grid down, you need a battery backup. So let's talk about a few more myths. The government will install free solar panels on your house. That's absolutely untrue. I've seen several advertisements like that, and I know the federal government won't, will not. I talked to several states, and they will not do that either. It's absolutely false. Don't believe it. It's not true. The government will not. Now, if anyone knows a local government that does, please put it down in the comments. But I have yet to find one. And remember, this is all about my research and what I've looked into and what I know. If you guys know something different for a fact, please put it in the comments and tell us what your source is. I'd love to hear if there's actually any state government, because I know the feds do not, I just talked to them, that actually is going to put solar panels on your house for free. But as of right now, not that I know of. And the next big thing people talk about is the government will give you money for your getting solar put on your house. That is not true either. The government will give you a tax credit, which means you pay for the solar panels at the end of the year when you do your taxes. If you're supposed to actually pay any money in, you may get some of that back because of the tax credit. But look real carefully at what you're doing because a lot of the advertisements they tell you simply are not true. Okay, let's talk about the last one. Solar energy is only for rich people. Untrue. If you've been watching this channel, and of course, I hope you have, then if you haven't, please start. But you know that's not correct. There's been many projects shown here that are inexpensive. These projects can be scaled up, but only to a point. And that point is all about the batteries. Now, it's true the cost of solar panels has been dropping. But the truth of the matter is, to do a small solar project, you don't have to be very rich. You simply have to be very careful about your expectations and what your absolute power needs are. And you can do this inexpensively. There's the truth about solar. Small projects are wonderful. I show them all the time. Please do it. It will help when the grid's down. A to entire house that's solar, not so much. When the grid goes down, you also go down unless your house has a battery backup. So when you're talking with solar companies, make sure you know what you're talking about so you can get truthful answers. As always, check with the Bus Better Business Bureau. And if an offer sounds too good to be true, it probably is. So, there you go. If you have any questions, please put it down in the comments. If you know something that I've mentioned that's updated somewhere, 
please put that down in the comments too. This entire channel is about conversation. Get as much of the truth out there and help one another as we can. As always, please like, subscribe, and click that little notification bell. And I hope this was helpful. Shoestring out.